Researchers here are shedding light on a little-known health condition that potentially has big impact on aging Singapore. It's called fat frailty or sarcopenic obesity, and it's potentially a deadly condition that is closely linked with chronic diseases. The problem is even doctors are only just now learning about it. You've heard of obesity, but chances are you haven't heard of sarcopenic obesity. A patient has this condition when he or she is obese and loses muscle mass and strength due to age at the same time. It's also been found to have the worst health outcomes among the different forms of obesity. Patients are more likely to fall, fracture their bones, or lose their independence by not being able to visit the toilet or dress themselves. People with sarcopenic obesity have worse physical performance compared to just sarcopenia or obesity alone. In physical performance, we mean that they have worsened grip strength, gait speed, and this is associated with long-term physical decline. And they also have increased risk of cardiac diseases in future. That's why researchers from Tan Tok Seng Hospital conducted a study, the first of its kind here, to find out more. They tracked 200 Singaporean adults aged 50 and above from 2013 to 2018. And they found that 6% of the male cohort had sarcopenic obesity. The figure was 12% for females. This was consistent with findings in other Asian populations. The researchers also want to help doctors better diagnose the condition. For instance, instead of detecting sarcopenic obesity through one's body mass index, which is common, they found that waist circumference above the belly button was a better indicator because it more accurately represents a body's fat to muscle ratio. They also saw links between high levels of a protein called MCP1 in those who turned out to be fat frail. Having such information, they say, would help doctors diagnose patients more accurately, intervene when necessary, and help them lead better lives. For exercise, we know that it's important to have both resistance and aerobic exercises. If we take good care of our health, it is possible to prevent or even reverse these conditions and prevent later complications such as heart problems, diabetes or uh, muscle problems. The findings from this study have been presented to a regional working group that looks into the condition. It will then recommend how best this information can be applied to real clinical environments.